In Brazil, voters head to the polls on Sunday to elect a president. The second round pits the incumbent Jair Bolsonaro against Lula, the former leftist president. Let's cross now to our correspondent in Rio de Janeiro, Tim Vickery. Tim, there are just a few days to go there. So how is the campaign uh, shaping up for these two candidates? Lead in the polls. Bolsonaro is a master of the late swing, a very powerful electoral force. But are there enough votes left on the table for Bolsonaro to win this election? Ever since Brazil has had re-election in the mid-90s, every sitting president has always won. And that's the significance of the first round results where Bolsonaro came close to being knocked out, with Lula not far short of 50%. The second round campaign hasn't been a happy one for Bolsonaro. There have been a number of gaffes and revelations and scandals that have forced him on the defensive much more than he would like to be. He keeps waiting for what he calls the silver bullet, the facts that will push momentum his way. It hasn't come. And it seems yesterday, on what would seem to be spurious grounds, Bolsonaro was toying with the idea of pushing for the elections to be postponed. It was an idea floated by Bolsonaro supporting politicians. Yesterday, Bolsonaro called a meeting of his top brass and then a press conference. It seems in that meeting that he didn't get support for this idea. And instead of the phalanx of people who usually stand behind him when he makes his announcements, he gave a press conference almost alone. So uh, it is a stormy temperature in Brazil as we head into the last few days before Sunday's second round. Well, we may be getting ahead of ourselves here a little bit, but let's say Bolsonaro is defeated. What exactly would be the scenario? We know that he has already called the electoral system into doubt. He could take a page out of Donald Trump's playbook by questioning the results. He will certainly do that. Yes, we are getting ahead of ourselves. But in that scenario, should Bolsonaro be defeated, uh, we will move into what we might call in inverted commas the third round, which could take two forms. Uh, now, Bolsonaro has repeatedly, and he's paved the way for this, repeatedly cast doubts on the integrity of Brazil's electronic voting system without, I might say, producing any proof to that end. So the, the, the results in this case is likely to be ch uh, challenged judicially. Uh, and what really is in doubt is the, the response to a possible defeat of the most hardline elements of the Bolsonaro supporter base. Amongst themselves, some are talking of taking to the streets and causing such chaos that it might force a military intervention. So whatever happens, this, uh, th this tense, polarizing election campaign is unlikely to finish on Sunday. OK, we'll be watching closely, of course, here on France 24, our correspondent in Rio de Janeiro, Tim Vickery. Tim, thanks as always. Thank you.